Hello, my dear friends. So I'm welcoming again all of you to this new session on uh, a topic called Heron's formula. So we are going to discuss how to find out the area of a triangle if three side lengths of the triangle are given. Now, before we look into all that, let us understand whatever we have studied so far in terms of finding area in a triangle. So all of you would be familiar that we have already learned a formula for finding out the area of a triangle and that is given by area of a triangle is nothing but half into base into height. Now this formula you have been using for a while now. What does it mean? It means that if there is a triangle given then if you drop a perpendicular which is also called an altitude from any of the vertices so let's say this triangle is a b c and this side is h let's say ad ad is perpendicular to bc and ad is equal to h and bc length is b bc is equal to b then my friend area of triangle abc triangle abc so which is denoted by like this ar within brackets triangle abc is equal to half into b into h isn't it now b and h could be you know uh, different for uh, different sides for example uh, if this was h ad so you can also drop a perpendicular like that and let's say this is um, h1 and let's say this side is a b1 right then this also will be equal to half into b1 into h1 and similarly if you drop a perpendicular from c on to ab let's say this is again h2 and this is b2 then this will also be equal to half into b2 into h2 so base and corresponding altitude if you multiply and divide by 2 you will get the area of a triangle but what if we do not have the length of uh, the altitude right or instead of that we have all the three lengths then there was a guy called heron or actually the name is hero and this guy was a greek mathematician okay now he was from a place called alexandria alexandria which is which is in current day egypt in africa correct so this guy is this guy was hero of alexandria the name goes like this hero of alexandria and he only figured out this method of finding out uh, area of a triangle which we are going to discuss now now uh, interestingly he was not the first person who actually did it but uh, before that also uh, you know uh, people knew about it and today uh, we know that hero's formula or heron's formula as you call it is a special case of special case of something called brahma gupta's brahma gupta's formula okay so brahma gupta's formula was nothing but a method or a formula for finding finding out the area of a cyclic quadrilateral okay a quadrilateral what is a cyclic quadrilateral so if you take any circle okay and pick four points on it one two three four and join them you'll get a quadrilateral this quadrilateral is called a cyclic quadrilateral okay so cyclic quadrilateral is nothing but a quadrilateral quadrilateral inscribed within a circle that's called cyclic quadrilateral okay so hence if let's say a b c d is the cyclic quadrilateral and let's say the sides are a 
B, C, and D. Side lengths are A, B, and C, and D. Then he found out area of quadrilateral A, B, C, D is equal to under root S minus A, S minus B times S minus C times S minus D. Now you'll ask what is S? Now S is called semi perimeter, semi perimeter of the quadrilateral, right? So hence you can say semi means half. So half of perimeter. That means A plus B plus C plus D. Okay. So if S is this, then area of quadrilateral is given by this formula. Now. Uh, Interestingly, this formula also is a specific case of another formula. Now, this is this this particular formula holds only for cyclic quadrilateral, right? So, if you have to find out the area of a cyclic quadrilateral, then this formula will hold. Okay, but this is also again a generic case of something called Brett Schneider's formula. So, hence Brahmagupta formula is also a specific case of something called Brett Snyder's formula. So those who know trigonometry, uh, they will be able to understand this or comprehend this. So hence, what is the formula then? So if you see, uh, if you and uh, what is this uh, formula about? Now this formula talks about any quadrilateral in general. So you don't need to, uh, you know, um, have cyclic quadrilateral so what i'm saying is brett snyder's formula is valid for any quadrilateral okay so let's say this quadrilateral is a b c and d okay and you join or rather let this angle be alpha let this be beta let this angle be gamma and let this be delta okay and again sides are a b C and D, then area of triangle, uh, not sorry, not triangle, area of quadrilateral, okay, A, B, C, D is given by, is given by the formula, this, S minus A, S minus B, S minus C, S minus D, and within under root only minus a times b times c times d and then cos square alpha plus gamma by 2 okay this is what the formula is let me rewrite it afresh so that you don't get confused so the area is nothing but again i'm writing like this s minus a s minus b s minus c s minus d like the previous case but there is an additional term here which is a b c d and then cos square sum of or half the sum of the opposite angle so hence alpha plus gamma by 2 you could have taken beta and delta also the result will be same why because alpha plus uh, delta plus uh, alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta is 30, 360 degrees and in if you know about trigonometry, then you know cos of 180 uh, minus theta is cos theta minus cos theta, and you square it, you can again get the same thing. So let's not get into the details of uh, uh, this formula. This is for just for information's sake that if you know uh, opposite angles of a quadrilateral, and if you know the sides of a quadrilateral, then you will be able to find out the area of the quadrilateral now what we are talking about so hence this is just for your information and uh, we now we are saying that brett snyder's formula was a general case of something called brahma gupta's formula and brahma gupta's formulas let's say one specific case is heron's formula but what is this heron's formula by the way okay so let me write it here so now if this is a triangle then heron's formula say area of triangle ABC whose sides A, B and C small a, B and C as are given is equal to under root S, 
S minus A, S minus B, S minus C. Isn't it? Where S is again semi parameter, which is nothing but A plus B plus C upon 2. Right? So, this is what is Heron's formula for a triangle. Now, you, you can ask how is this specific case from a, of, a Brahm, of Brahma Gupta's, Brahma Gupta's formula. So, if you see in a triangle, there is no fourth side. So, hence in that case, D will be 0. Correct? For a triangle, D is equal to 0 or not. The fourth side is nothing. It's 0. So, hence, if you put D is equal to 0 in this formula, you will get nothing but this formula. Isn't it? You can try. For a cyclic quadrilateral, what was it? Cyclic quadrilateral was nothing but under root S minus A, S minus B, S minus C and S minus D all under root. And S was in that case A plus B plus C plus D by 2. So if you put D is equal to 0, S will become A plus B plus C upon 2. And now if you put D equal to 0 here as well, it will be reduced only to S and you will eventually get this formula. Isn't it? So this is Heron's formula. In the next session, let us understand how do we derive Heron's formula. And in the later subsequent sessions, we'll take up applications of Heron's formula. Thank you.